Okay, so first of all, I have a folder here with a bunch of images in it, and these are all produced by a computer model showing where the air is coming from at a particular point in Taiwan. And I want to make a video where it scrolls through each of these images really quickly so it looks like the air is moving. And I'm going to do this by opening up PowerPoint and then going to Insert and Photo Album and New Photo Album. Then I'm going to go to Insert Picture from File slash Disk. Then I'm going to go to desktop and open up the file where I saved all of these images and I'm going to select all of them and it will take a second to do this because there's so many images. Then I'm going to insert and this again will take a few seconds because there's so many images. Okay, now I have all of my images loaded. I'm going to go to create, and this will probably also take a few seconds. Okay, and now you can see it's made a PowerPoint presentation where each of the figures is in a different slide. Now I'm just going to change this so the background is white and then delete the first slide. And now I'm going to go to File and Export, and I'm going to create a video. And the default is to spend five seconds on each slide. I want this to be considerably shorter, so I'm going to point to five. So each slide will be up for a quarter of a second. I'm going to create video, and then I'm going to save this to my desktop and save. And now it's going to create a video for me. You can see it loading down here. Now, this can take quite a long time, depending on the size of the video you want to make. That's one of the major disadvantages of doing something like this in PowerPoint. It can take quite a long time for each step to load. Okay, now it's made it. I can close all of these and here it is saved on my desktop. I'm just going to open this. And now the video is playing and you can see it's looping through each of these images very quickly. You can see the date here changing at the top. Okay, and that is it.